So once we have the basic colors um, of the ghost and of the hoodie, hey, I uh, just a quick side note here. This is a video that's the last video of a class of a, of a four hour class that I have on Skillshare, and I'm sharing this video free with you guys so you can get the class if you want in the link in the description, and you can get free Skillshare again if you use the links in the description. Uh, I'm sharing this with you. Unfortunately, the new update rules for Skillshare may, may um, you know, not make uh, this class available for you guys in the future because it will not meet the requirement. So, uh, watch it while you can and maybe download it while you still can. Um, back to the video. I will play this just to see if everything works out well. I'm not adding any shadows just yet. So the hoodie, the color of the hoodie is on a separate layer, and the color of the ghost is also on a separate layer. Which uh, now I will make a clipping mask, a clipping group. Automatically, when you do that, you will be able to have a, a mask layer on top, and that way you can start adding the shadows and the highlights of your animation. In this case, it will be your character. Um, if you want to animate that, maybe because let's say uh, if I want to add highlights to my ghost, at least the body of the ghost, not the, the the hoodie. Maybe the best way to do that is not with a mask layer, but with a another layer on top, and go again through the frames and add the highlights you need. At first, I decided to just select the different. Uh, body parts and add a slight gradient effect, but then later on I kind of dropped that idea in a way. Now keep in mind I'm not trying to replicate the exact the exact concept that that I have on the right there, the the illustration that I have there. So uh, yeah, I changed the hoodie color and I try to give different type of shadows to the character. I do keep slightly the colors to be the same. And uh, slowly we'll get the glow of the character as well once we uh, get all the shadows and the highlights in place. This is just optional, of course. I will leave you this file and you can go in and open it and see what has been done and how you want to do it as well. By the end of this, I will make sure to have a group layer with the character and um, you have a group layer of the character with the separate elements um, combining, like right, uh, making this character. But also you will have one layer with just the character itself, because I will add some training animation alongside. Now I'm adding some uh, blur effects to the color of the ghost that I duplicated that color. So now we have two color, two layers with the color, and on one of the layers I decided to add motion blur as you saw to uh, you know to make this um, effect now this adds it to only one of the frames so you need to go through all of the rest of the frames to uh, hit control and F uh, it's a shortcut to repeat the last effect you did and I'm gonna move this uh, blur effect to be on top of the lines of the character I think the effect there is uh, uh, more interesting than uh, than to be on the or to be behind, and I'll try to uh, make um, I don't know. Uh, I'll try my best to change the uh, blending mode of that layer on the copy of that layer to you know, to get a different effect as well. And I will move this on top so we can have the glowing head of the character as well. And I will just play with the mode to see which one uh, which one I like. Again, I'm not trying to be trick to the um to the illustration i have on the right i just want to see uh, to make something better now the animation works fine we have glow on every single frame which is great that's what i wanted and we also see slightly move slight movement on the head so now uh, i will try to add some shadows and some highlights to the hoodie with the different brushes we have since the hoodie is not animated, I can add um, a couple of stroke of, uh, strokes of highlights, which will help me uh, to, I don't know, to have this weird um, illustration effect on top of the hoodie. 
this is again optional you don't have to do this it really depends on the style that you're going for and that's pretty much it so at some point i decided to make the lines of the tail and the head of the ghost to be white or slightly um a brighter pink because again we have a pink ghost so and, you know i thought that this will make the characters to pop up especially on that dark background that we have again this is just optional you don't have to do it uh, if you have uh, you can follow your your character design that you made and you can try to duplicate that um but it's again it's just optional and i think it looks better that way when you have um uh, white lines so once the, um, the animation of the character is done i decided to put every single animation for that character including with the hoodie to be on one uh in in one group so after i done that i decided to duplicate that group and to merge that group that allows me to have my character twice now i'm not, I'm not going to use the group of the character the group of the character for me will be um, there if i want to change something but once i have this one layer of the character i can make the whole character along with the animation of the eyes along with the animation of the tail and the head to move together so that out of the way now we have all the animations of the character on one layer so we can move that character but i need to duplicate the animation basically i need to uh, make my animation to be longer than uh, the frames that we have here so i managed to put the last frame to be red so i know where the animation ends so i know where to put the the, fra the frames after so you can either clone them or you can duplicate them you can use the shortcuts for that sometimes i, I use the shortcuts sometimes i didn't um just use shift if you want to select uh, multiple frames or control works the same way and uh that's pretty much it i try to make this animation to be a bit longer by duplicating the frames this is the only way you can uh, uh make your animations longer as of now and there's no command to say loop yet so the way you can loop something is to duplicate your frames so they can repeat when you play them so that's what we have my next goal is to make my character go up and down in order to do that now uh, with this frame frame animation that i have on one layer i will add a transform mask as i showed you before uh, in the previous uh, lessons in the previous videos uh, i will try to rename again there there, there was a lot of re renaming uh here so <laughs> you know uh you can name your list the way you want as long as you know what they mean and where they are uh, and what they what you have on them uh, you can name them uh, the potatoes if, I, if you want I, I, I don't know um yeah but that's pretty much it so i will make sure that i have the first frame and the last frame to be the same so in order for this guy to loop and i will move him up and down and later on i will probably put some uh, shadows beneath him as well let's see how that looks I mean it looks fine to me um it's not that bad it's not that fast uh right now i'm animating on 12 frames per second but you can always change that as i showed you before but in general that's my final result from this uh whole class uh if you are eager you can make this or you can try to follow the other uh classes not the other classes the other videos that i have shown you your final project for this i think is to try to make one of the characters of the many characters that i showed you here and try to animate them uh if you're not very conf confident with frame by frame then try to make training animation try to make uh, the puppet animation right with the little robo robots there that i showed you in, in the beginning if you want to try frame by frame then try to make this uh, maybe a simpler version of this uh, ghost character maybe you don't have to give him to have a fancy hoodie or a skateboard i mean the skateboard is actually easy to, to be done and to be animated you just need to animate speed lines and yeah i mean just try to do something and share with the class and share your amazing ghost or your amazing little robot guy girl and uh, that's pretty much it i hope this was helpful to you 
uh, I did uh, manage to finish this very <laughs> it took me a while to finish this class so thank you so much if we actually have gotten to the to the end of this